Hi, today we'll have a look at how to create our very own Lightbox with jQuery. What Lightbox is, it allows us to click on a thumbnail, see the enlargement, then navigate through the, through the images in our gallery, then go next, go backwards, and so on, basically just browsing through the images in its uh, original dimensions. Once we're happy that we want to get out, you can click either on this button here, I'll simply click on this overlay uh, layer here and it's going to disappear. So that's what we're going to be building in this specific series. So if we go to our editor, you'll see with the exercise files, we have access to the CSS folder with core.css images folder. You will only see the pagination.png and preloaded.gif uh, images inside of the large and thumb you're going to have to source yourself. So. Uh, obviously make sure that you have a few images which we can place later on on the page uh, then we have index.html and js folder with core.js which is blank and the latest version of jquery at the time of this recording so to start with we're going to open our index.html we already have uh, our css as well as our javascript files included so in between the opening and closing body tag we're going to start with the diff with the idea of wrapper Inside of the wrapper, we're going to create UL with the ID of images and a few li tags in between of which we're going to place the a tag with the href set to the path to the large, large image. So we're going to go for the images large 01.jpg in my case. Then we have rel gallery which will simply indicate that this is part of the series of images so we can actually browse through them if you want them to open only individually then you can leave the rel attributes off and then we go for title i'm going to put on a new line title which will be carnival and then we have class lightbox And now between the opening and closing a tag, we are going to put the image tag with the source for the thumbnail image. So images thumb 01.jpg. Uh, and then we go for the alt attribute, which will be the same as the title of our large image carnival. And then after this, we're going to go for the dimensions, which is width will be 150 in my case, height will be 83. You're obviously going to put uh, the dimensions of your thumbnails here. Now we're going to copy this first one, paste it underneath. And I'm just going to change the number of the image. Dimensions of the thumbnail will be the same. And obviously the title and alt attribute will be different. So holiday property. If I copy this here and paste it underneath, you can put it like this. Then we go for another one. This time it's going to be 03. And the title will be Carpenter for this one. Okay, so that's everything inside of our index.html. Let's move to the next video when we start working with our core.css file.